John Williams was named the 19th conductor of the Boston Pops in January of 1980, at which time to a great many people it probably seemed as though he was the second conductor of the Boston Pops, since Arthur Fiedler had been in that post for so long that um, most people had forgotten he had predecessors. Then after John Williams established himself as conductor, the great question was, would he in fact remain in that post? And he chose to do that. It's my pleasure to welcome John Williams to Morning Pro Musica and uh, to ask the question that, that's kind of uppermost in my mind. Um, what was the the decision in, in your mind? Uh, I, I can think of many of the, the things that might have been going on in your head when you made the decision. I'm curious to hear from you. Well, I, my first of all, thank you for inviting me, Robert. I'm yeah. pleased to be with you. My great pleasure. Um, we've talked about being together on one of these shows for quite a while. <laughs> I'm glad we finally could could make one. Um, I the the this uh, question of Boston Pops conducting and my my sort of mental set at the time is is something that really has to do with my reaction to having worked in Hollywood for 25 years, the reaction to the invitation to come to Boston, I thought, well, it might be, I'd like to try that. It's something very different than Hollywood. It's very public, which I was unused to. I'd always, I've always conducted in studios and very rarely in public. And that, in combination with the fact that one felt flattered by it, so it was a, a very a very flattering and, and a very attractive thing to, to want to try to do. Putting all these facts in my mind together with, a, with, with the thought that it might serve as a, as a kind of relief from working in Hollywood, I don't want to give the impression that I'm tired of doing films, but I thought Boston Pops is in May and June. It might be very good to go to Boston, conduct for two months, get away from the studios, and come back in a kind of fresh frame of mind that the one kind of activity might be a sort of source of nourishment and invigoration for the other. Mm -hmm. Now, when you had already been conducting for a couple of years, and then the contract was up and it came time mm -hmm. to renew, mm -hmm. that, that was the period at which I was, I was I, My original about contract, Robert, was for two years. I came mm -hmm. in 1980 and conducted right. in 1980 and 81, and re renewed a contract last year. And I, because I felt that, first of all, I was I was enjoying a lot of it, and I also felt that I needed to do it longer. I mean, I, I didn't want to just conduct for two or three years, that that wasn't really enough in many respects, mm -hmm. in the musical respect, from a sort of institutional point of view, and even 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 from the point of view of, of, of this relationship to my Hollywood work that I mentioned earlier. I, it's something that I wanted to do more of, really. And... I can just say that I that I I won't be able to do fifty years as Arthur Fiedler did because I'm not young enough to do that. But uh, I would like to do it as long as I can do it in a healthy, wholesome kind of growing way. I was I was concerned. I still am a little bit concerned. I was particularly concerned in the beginning of my tenure here whether I or any other conductor could could keep a, as strong a public as Arthur Fiedler was able to do. He was such a unique, enormously well-known person from television, not only in Boston but all around the world. And my feeling is that I want to stay in Boston as long as there's a sense of genuine health about it, both from a musically musical point of view and from the point of view of the stability of the, of the audience as, as, it, as, it, as it relates to Boston pops. It's an interesting thing to me because... The, the it's been very successful since I've been here, and I, d I don't mean it to sound deprecating when I say that I don't think it's got so much to do with myself as it does the fact that the Boston Pops is a stable, solid institution up till now, mm -hmm. and that other conductors could conduct it, I think, and that it would continue to be successful. But I'm I'm always watching it. I don't want to be complacent about it, about my own appointment, or about the orchestra's success, about the audience's connection to the pops, mm. that we that we complacency is something we we don't want, 
and I want to be here as long as it's working well. It's not a kind of ego trip for me, I could say that way, Robert. It's something that I want to do if it's a healthy thing for all concerned. Well, with uh, with 18 Academy Award nominations, four Oscars, two Emmys, 14 Grammys, and I, I, that may not even be totally accurate because every time I look at one of your bios, it, it's gone <laughs> up again. I, I don't think you have to worry about an ego trip. You, you said that others could conduct. Well, in fact, of course, others do, do. conduct on, so. on, a, on a regular basis. But there is a special kind of chemistry that exists between a, a conductor and an orchestra when they are successful, and between management and trustees true. and, and all the rest of it. And uh, you somehow seem to have captured that, in, and, and that's no small feat. You are filling some very big shoes. Mm, indeed. And you come in and gain the respect of the orchestra, of the management, of the public. Um, and of and of the audience, uh, that's uh, that 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 is a, is it's a wonderful thing. I I I do feel proud about it, but I think it's also uh, in a kind of a way a, cer- a kind of miracle in a sense. You know, you, I I always think of in film world, for example, when something really works like that, it's it's the result of planning, but we can't really plan these things. It's the chemistry of the kind of situation that you've described is a more subtle thing than mm-hmm. one can plan. And uh, I'm watching it, Robert, and, and, and liking doing a lot of it, and I want it to be successful for myself personally, but I, but I, want, I want to feel that that the orchestra is healthy and that the that, that the whole situation is good and solid. Thus far, I think it has been, and I'm very pleased, and I do take some pride in that fact. 